shit. I grew up. Uh. All right, YouTube, this one's a bit different. I want to show y'all how the poop been coming along at nighttime and what they got coming on. You can see clip. Mm -hmm. All right, and I also want to talk to y'all about the Bobby tour and Marco tour, what happened on the tour from my side of the story. But let's get into this pool. They're going to be adding like turf down here. Look at that, it's frogs in here already. It should be done about like in a week. It's a motherfucking real frog right there. Shit crazy. So I want y'all to tell me in the comments, if anybody that own a pool or know about pools, when you get pool chlorine, do it run off the frogs? Because frogs are around in the pool. But is it only this type of water? Oh, shit. So yeah, so there's going to be like a tennis court back there I'm going to work on. Uh, built like a guest house. And I'm going to do, you know, a lot more. And I also want you guys to know that it can happen to you. You can start doing this stuff too. So if you're a content creator, make sure that you are very, 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 very strict on yourself. Always keep going forward and always put out content every day. Start going TikTok live. Start posting on YouTube. Don't worry about if it's five, 500 views. Don't worry about if it's 300 views. Just always know that the shit can double up. So I want y'all to take y'all content serious and watch other people and take the concept and bring it to your own way. That's one thing that I really, really, really focus on. Sometimes if you get lost, I like to look at people other shit and then put it in my own way. It's a thing called remix. You know what I'm saying? Like everybody just feel like you want to be the first to start everything. And I remember when people was telling me like, oh, people are taking your Walmart shit. And I'm like, no, nigga, like everybody can do this. I just know I'm going to do it my own way. So... I want you guys to actually get up in the morning, watch the type of content that you're into. If you're a fitness trainer, watch other fitness trainer. If you are somebody that, an athlete, start posting your highlight tapes. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? Like, if you're a rapper, make sure you go out and do shows. Like, promote it. Like, you know what I'm saying? Start doing shows with three to four or five people. Show your journey. If you got a car you don't want, show the type of car that you drive. Don't be hot. Don't be afraid to sh share your journey. A lot of people be trying to just feel like this shit is just like overnight and it's not. And you just got to really believe in God and believe in you and then go forward. You feel me? So I want you guys to know that that's very, very important. And I just feel like I go with faith. You know what I'm saying? And I just wake up and I just be like, damn, you could do it. And then when you do it, it's like, damn, it's done. And then you got to keep going. So, yeah, so this is the pool. This is going to be like a waterfall shooting up that's gonna be a waterfall on there this is the, the jacuzzi the jacuzzi if i said it right coochie whatever you want me to say um kids i want you to also man take tiktok serious man don't get caught up in the streets when you can actually the internet is the new streets that's what's funny this is the new streets where you can actually take your time and come up with something and stay focused i was somebody that started off in walmart and I never thought I'd be doing interviews with Nicki Minaj, Kevin Hart. But again, that was not my goal. My goal was to actually do something that I love to do and grow that. So I feel like my career is like a plant. I just keep watering it and I keep watering it. You know what I'm saying? And sometimes it don't look like it's growing. You feel me? But I just keep watering it. You feel me? So really take that serious. And then now with the Bobby tour, I love Bobby to death. Bobby's a good person. You know, I feel like everybody good let's be real like i don't have shit bad to say about nobody but when people pay their hard working money i really really care about that so when i'm on stand-up tour and i'm selling out these tours and then me and bobby be able to come together and people are paying their money to come see us i really want that to get better i don't want it to be the same i don't want to take nobody money if you can't get it again let me let me start there let me say that if you can't get the money again you don't need to be doing it twice that's like with anything with promo if you're doing promo, don't be out here trying to scramble for money and take people hard work money to just do it and use your platform and then go about your day because it's about long, like a relationship. A relationship is very, very important. So the fact that I feel like I was, I did stand up before and I'm still doing it. So I understand I'm learning how to entertain a crowd. And it's not the same thing that you get on Instagram. This is real life where people 
or are going to look and they want the energy and they want the feeling. And I feel like Bobby was stiff a little bit. You know what I'm saying? And I'm like, hey man, let's let's really, really work on this. Like, and I, I paid script writers, like, let's really get him a show. And where she told me, that's not me. Bobby was like, my comedy is me not talking a lot. And I'm like, shit, this is different. Like you could do that on the podcast, but in real life, this is different. So her comedy was different from what she said, from what, what she wanted to bring to the show, which I can respect. You know what I'm saying? There's not nothing about me getting mad. I'm not saying you're doing nothing wrong. I can't, but I just don't agree with it. I can feel like I don't agree with it. You feel me? The same way she probably don't agree with what I do. So you're not wrong for how you feel. But again, when people pay them tickets and I just feel like, and I'm trying to put a production show together and then you're not saying nothing and I'm up there trying to talk and I'm like, hey, Bobby, Bobby, and you're just like this. It was just like, it was hurting me. Cause I know people are paying their hard, like it could be their last money. It could be, they don't care about it. Like I got the money. But again, if you don't pay to see something twice, I don't want to do it again. I wanted it to get better, but Bobby was just in her ways of doing it how she wanted to do it. And I was in my ways to do it how I want to do it. So nobody's in the wrong when it comes to that. But on my end, to explain to y'all, I just wanted more out of Bobby. I wanted her to dance more. I wanted her to talk. And the audience was, hey, believe it or not, a lot of people was coming to see her. So, like, her fan base is big. A lot of people were seeing her. You know, as much as I'm selling out on tour, a lot of people was coming to see her. So that was a beautiful thing. So I'm happy, like, man, they coming to see her. Like, Hey, this, you can go along with this. Like, you can really make your podcast go live and taking it and bring your other guests on there. But again, she was doing it her own way. And I want entertainment. I want you to learn something. I want you to laugh. I want you to walk away and be like, damn, that was a good ass show. I don't want you to be like, yeah, it was all right. Because, like I said, when people just think about money, that's what hurt their career. So, it's a lot of times I had to turn down a lot of money because I just feel like it just wasn't good for my brand. Or it just wouldn't be, I wouldn't take it as serious, you know? And I don't want to play with nobody's money. Like, I'm not the person that do that. And I feel like the world just feel like everything's about money and they play with people's money and they want it. But again, it's just about if you get it once, how can you get it again? Can you get it the same way you got it the first time? So understand that everything's not about money. Like, money is a reward. So once you tap in with yourself and you realize this is power and this is power, like your, your, brain, your brain and your mouth and your actions, those are the three powers. Your brain, your mouth, and your actions. That's what's going to bring you the money. But people don't want to use the brain sometimes, or they don't want to use your mouth, or they don't want to use the action, and they just feel like they should get paid. So that's why I feel like um, I'm thankful to be able to go on tour, and I told my cameraman to pull up some clips. I like how my shows are going, so I want y'all to come see me. So I want y'all to see these clips real quick, and hopefully they show y'all and y'all back here. But I want y'all to come out and see me, and it's a whole nother different spotlight. I want y'all to learn about Marco. I want to go by Marco Summers, like, you know what I'm saying? I'm over the funny Marco, but I got to earn that respect. I got to put in the grind. I got to put in that. And I just want to show y'all, too, like, how the house is coming along a little bit. Like, even the front room. So, this is how we're doing, like, the front room. And then, you know what, the garage, too. I have to clean up in here. I was in here, knocked out. Yeah. But yeah, I had clean up. <laughs> yeah. You know, I was just like, hey man, let's just record. Let's put up some content. But yeah, this is where I play the game and shit like that. And get it going, I gotta get my wires. My dog, Polo, chewed up the wires. But yeah, so on this video, on the note, I just want y'all to know the Bobby tour. I just did I, on my decision, I didn't want to be a part of it because I wanted to be a full production show. And I want anybody to pay a dollar, two dollars, five dollars, ten dollars, a hundred dollars to really be satisfied. And I understand you're not going to satisfy everybody, but majority of people matters. You know, and I don't do anything for money. I stand on that. Like, the money going to come to me, I'm blessed. You feel me? So. I just want you guys to know it's very, very important to whatever you do, just don't think about the money. The money gonna come to you. Be smart, get the money, brand, know your worth, grow your worth, but don't just, don't know your worth at all and just take any type of money. Cause then you don't know your worth if you're taking anything. You feel me? So y'all didn't see me from Walmart all the way till now. Y'all didn't see me from 
little house to big house. And my thing is to get bigger, you feel me? So chase your dreams, lock in. Uh, shout out to Bobby, follow Bobby. Shout out to anybody that's doing their podcast. I also want to go on other people's podcasts, a podcast where we're to where I can get on random people's podcasts that really care about their podcast and that's consistent. And I can come on there and talk and just be me, you feel me? So I am looking for that. So comment your podcast below. And if you consistent, I'm gonna reach out to you. If you're not, I don't need to say nothing. You know, shout out to y'all. If y'all watching this YouTube video, just understand if you're doing hair, if you're doing nails, you're doing makeup, if you're doing ball, if you screaming, do it every day. Get up and do it, be consistent. Right now I'm about to get up and I'm about to write on my stand up. You know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna get boogie up and we gotta write in scripture with my stand up. Like uh, I had to be doing stand up for a year and it's going good, and I'm at the launch of my theater tour. So if I come in town, I just want to meet y'all, take pictures with y'all. I do that for free. I hate when people try to charge people for pictures. I'm like, if you already paid to see me, y'all don't need to pay to see me again. Like, that's stupid. I get it. Sometimes if I just don't, if I don't have the energy and I'm not, the, like, in the best state of mind, I won't do a meet and greet. But if I'm in a good energy, then it's free. You don't have to pay to meet me. You feel me? Or I shouldn't be in your city. You feel me? So. I want you guys to know that uh, what we got coming up, Cleveland on the 19th, and then Cincinnati on the 20th. So that's that. I'm going to go back to Kansas City, show y'all where I'm from and where I came from, and uh, meet my grandma. And that's that, man. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. This is Jim's with Marco. I should start doing like a Sunday motivation. But damn, this shit ain't going to come out on Sunday. Uh, on Saturday. I'm going to cook come out because I don't need no chops. Yeah, so we can post this tonight, honestly, if we can get to it. Sure. See y'all later. Yay.